Zurich Airport is the international hub that connects Switzerland to the world. Airport operations are faced with constantly changing challenges, so airport buildings also continually need to be upgraded, extended or replaced. For instance, the airside centre and the underground passport control hall were built around 2000. In 2010, the completely renovated Dock B resumed operation and Basgate South and the Security Check Building were built. In 2015, Terminal 2 was extensively refurbished. In 2020, the baggage sorting system was upgraded and expanded. Next is the construction of a new building to replace the 35-year-old Dock A. The current Dock A is essential for operating the airport. However, at peak times for flights and transfers, the airport is working almost at capacity and aircraft stands are in short supply. Dock A handles around 100 aircraft every day, a third of the total number of flights. So if the airport is to remain fully operational, it's not possible to completely shut down. While the old one keeps operating, the new Dock A will therefore be built and fitted out alongside it. Operations will then be seamlessly transferred to the new dock. The old dock will now be demolished and the south side of the new dock completed. Over 500 meters long, the new building has a distinctive geometric shape. The roof rises from the western end of the building and dynamically converges into the glass facade of the new control tower. The new building comprises the actual dock itself, the new tower and the equilateral triangle-shaped dock base. The dock base connects the airside center and the simultaneously extended passport control hall with the passenger levels in the dock. It is where the complex of passenger walkways intersect and like the airside center also offers high-quality shopping and eating options. The light-filled atrium space features attractive lounge areas with views of the apron. The new dock base greatly enhances the arrival, departure and transfer experience for passengers at Zurich Airport. The north side of the new dock can be used for both Schengen and non-Schengen gates, while the south side can be operated as a Schengen dock. If required, additional areas and links for non-Schengen passengers can be gradually added on the south side at a later date. On the passenger levels, the roof trusses of the dock and base are largely made of wood that can be sourced from the region. This is unique for a terminal building of this size. The roof will be covered in photovoltaic solar panels which will meet around two-thirds of the dock's annual electricity needs. This sustainable building will therefore make a major contribution to the airport's ambitious CO2 reduction strategy. As its new position enlarges the area in front of the airside center, the dock also optimizes processes on the apron. It improves the geometry of the apron. The south side of the dock will have eight stands for the typical short and medium haul aircraft with a wingspan of up to 36 meters, known as Code C aircraft. There is space for five Code C stands in the middle, with a taxiway routed around to avoid conflicts with oncoming aircraft. The north side of Dock A provides space for up to 14 Code C aircraft or eight large long-haul jets known as Code E aircraft. Depending on the situation, there's now space behind the stands for two Code C and one Code E taxiway or two Code E taxiways for efficient taxiing. The service road with drop-off pickup areas for passenger buses and service vehicles now runs underneath the building to better separate ground traffic and taxiing aircraft. All in all, the new Dock A optimizes many processes on the apron and in passenger areas, is sustainable as regards both construction and operation, and consequently enables airport operations fit for the 21st century.